piece I wrote called, And This Is How You Grow as a Woman, and this is about all of the expectations. <laughs> when you are 11, your mother tells you how she and her teenage friends used to dress in the skimpiest outfits imaginable and walk down Abbott Road, says they would go home and change if they didn't get enough beeps. You know as a woman you are to do more than listen. You are to absorb, to become. And you don't know how to swallow this tale, a syrupy dose of equal parts pride and shame. When you are 12, you are at an amusement park with your family, and it is the first summer that men's eyes on you become palpable, so you fold your shorts even shorter and swell with that strange medicine again. Your father is livid, inconsolable, but he doesn't speak to you about gender objectification. Instead, he hangs up on boys who call and tells you to wipe off that lip gloss. The boys are busy chopping the girls into parts, into factory assessments of rank. They have emblazoned names like tar on unfurled buds of body. You will spend your life learning to bloom both in spite of and for their gaze. When you are 18 and underage in a bar, a man throws a dead pigeon at you after you reject his advances. You do not know if this avian attacker drives around with a cavalry of dead pigeons or if this one was specifically selected for your brand of bitch. And you grow into a woman 12-year-old you would marvel at. Smart and brazen, playful and passionate, warm and effervescent, you grow into a woman who sings and writes and paints and debates, travels and philosophizes, who loves her body like a violin from God, who ebbs and flows her hips like tide pools. You grow into a woman whose shoulders push back, whose eyes electric prey green. Yet when you walk at night during the day on the beach from your car to the gas station to ask them to turn the air on so you can fill your tires, it returns. The potion you imbibed before you were conceived, this push-pull of see me, don't see me, a centuries-long tango with dis-ease. You tell me, how do women walk with the smog of your gaze thick in their throats? How do women see mirrors hijacked, infected with your voice? You tell me, how do women own a body, a temple you claimed, defecated in, and told us to love? <laughs>